What's up guys? Thanks for jumping on my YouTube channel. First off, thanks for coming back. There's so many great things I'm about to give you guys some value on. I want you guys to really understand what my intent of this channel is. The intent is to bring massive value to you and your faith, your family, your fitness, your wellness, and of course your business is gonna come. So once again, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. Uh, anything that you guys can give me input, leave a comment below. I wanna address any concerns or questions you guys have. So my goal from today is to bring you a couple of bullet points on relationship. As most of you guys know now, last week was my anniversary. And when I'm talking about my anniversary, seven years married, uh, but I've been with my wife for about 11 years. And gosh, you guys know if you're married, if you're not, these bullet points you should be able to use for your relationship in your own marriage or in your own relationships with your loved ones, right? You don't have to be in a marriage to be able to get some value out of this. You can apply these principles to any relationship you're in and I believe that it will bring a lot of value to your life. So let's get started. Number one, today you have to realize that things could always be better. Because a lot of times we go through life and we think, oh, things are great. But the reality is maybe they're not great for somebody else that you're talking to, right? So in a relationship, you might think things are great, but the reality is they might not be. So realize, number one, things could always be a little bit better. Number two, think about this. You got to evaluate what could get better, right? So at the end of the days, if I already know that number one is things could get better and number two, I got to evaluate the things that could get better, right? Think about the things that you could potentially get better at. Maybe it's taking time, putting your phone down and spending quality time with your wife. Maybe it's you take, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes to go and make someone uh, a meal, or you do this, or you maybe do an act of service, make them coffee in the morning, right? There's different things that we can do, and I'm gonna share this, uh, this book. It's actually right here, I've got. It's called The Five Love Languages. So this book by Gary Chaplin, The Five Love Languages, this has been a game changer, and this is actually the singles edition, so you don't have to be married to, to wanna get this book. Uh, it talks about your love languages, right? So this is getting a little bit more in depth about who we are, but we've all got different love languages. And just to keep it real simple, I'm not gonna go through all the love languages, but a couple of them are, maybe your love language is acts of service, right? Maybe it's quality time. Maybe it's physical touch, right? All of these different things that book talks about, I went through it, it's helped me transform my marriage. And see, different people receive acts of service differently, right? It might be my top thing. Like if you do an act for service for me, like you're my best friend, but you do that for my wife, guess what? She's like, yeah, you know what? I'd rather spend some quality time, right? These are the questions that you gotta ask yourself and then in any relationship, right? Getting deeper into the relationships, you've really gotta deep dive into the relationship and understanding what is this person's love language. So that being said, we're gonna go into tip number three. Tip number three is very simple, guys. It's asking yourself the question, are you waiting for someone else to do it first? Tip number three, I'm gonna urge you and nudge you guys in the direction to do this. Do this simply, go first. Tip number three is go first. Don't wait for someone else to do something. Right, so do something out of your heart, right? So if you want more love, give some love. If you want some more money, maybe you gotta go out and give some money. These are all little concepts that I'm giving you that show factually will help you in any different relationships that you have. But what I'm saying here, don't be afraid to go first. And this is why I'm gonna challenge you to go first. Maybe this video caught your attention. Hey, I need to get a little bit stronger relationship. I wanna get a little bit better with my friends, my family, my kids, my, my parents, right? All of these different areas that we can get better at, don't be afraid to go first because I'm gonna leave it very simply put to you guys. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to anybody, right? And if some reason, that person were to pass away tomorrow or tonight, right? And you didn't go first, I can promise you, you wish you would have went first. You know what? I should have just bit my ego. I should have 
went forward with my emotions. I said, you know, I knew it, should have listened to Mike and I should have went first. So that's my challenge. Obviously tip number three is go first in your relationships. Don't be afraid to go first and give selflessly. That's very important. And I'm gonna leave it at tip number four here. Tip number four is simple as well. But a lot of us forget to do this, and I'm gonna give credit to my pastor because my pastor is the one that talked about this one and really understanding what it takes to get in a relationship, but more importantly, stay in a relationship, right? All of us know what it takes to get in a relationship. See, us men, we're goal-oriented. If you give me a goal and my goal is to take this girl on a date, okay, boom, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ask her this, I'm gonna see if she likes this, give her some flowers, right? There might be multiple different ways of doing this, but once you've gotten into a relationship, see, any relationship you're in, you've gotta maintain it. And here's what most people forget. After us men, and I'm just gonna throw it out there because us men are goal-oriented, we forget to do what we did to get that person uh, to date us to fall in love with us, to be um, our spouse, to be our friend, right? Whatever it is in that relationship, we have to do what we did to get that person to love us in the beginning, right? Go out and go on dates, spontaneous. Maybe you were that person that would just drop everything and like, I'm over there, I'm at your house, right? Let's do this, right? Let's connect. Now, if there were more marriages that did more dating, right there and and courting i call it courtship because that's what pastor rick says if there was more courtship in marriage less marriages would end in court so that being said i don't know if you've been married for 10 20 years right the one tip and i call it the golden rule tip the fourth tip should i say is to really go out and do more courting right do what you did to get that person to fall in love with you do what you did to get that relationship right and it takes some thought process what did i do let me think about this. Hmm. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I used to always spend time at the dinner table just chatting and genuinely getting to know this person. Or you know what? We'd go out to dinner and we would just spontaneously, hey, we're off to the races. Let's go uh, stay a night in New Mexico or do this or let's jump on the plane and go here, right? Might be a little difficult, obviously, with kids or some things that have changed. But my challenge to you is to continue courting that person. Right, so that way your marriage or your relationship doesn't end in court, right? So that being said, I hope this video brings some value to your marriage, to your relationships, to your loved ones, to your parents, right, to your kids. This is important, guys. I hope these four points that I just went over here can bring some sincere value to you in your life. I've got a lot more that's gonna be coming out here, so make sure if you're not, and this is the first time catching one of these videos, you smash that subscribe button, you like this video, and uh, I'm gonna be bringing some, fa some family value into this, uh, this arena. I love you all, thank you so much for your support. Let's go get it. Leave a comment below if this video brought some value. Let me know how any feedback you have for me. Love you all, let's go.